Well, I moved here three years ago, and when I moved here, I loved the community because it's I have a dog and it's so near the river um, and it's a nice little closed in community. Everything is nearby for me as I've got older. My solicitor really didn't want me to come because he said it is a flood risk area. Um, and so, you know, we were the three days prior to the 3rd of January aware that there were going to be high tides. And then when the weather changed, got very, very windy, very, very heavy rain. We were aware that two days previous, every time there was a high tide, which was always around breakfast time, we would go and check it. So when it came to the 3rd of January, we thought it would just be the same and it wouldn't be any different. I took the dog out for a walk at half past six just to check and the water wasn't up the slipway. It was pouring down with rain, very, very windy. I came back into the house about 20 past seven and I thought, oh, I'll just check to see what's happening in the garden. And there was water coming um, in the corner um, from the drain. And within 10 minutes, this patio was more or less filled with water to a depth of about a foot. The patio being lower than the rest of the house, once it was up to two feet, uh, the water just came into the house. Within about two hours of the flood occurring, when we were all, we'd been all told to leave our properties, uh, Natural Resources Wales, there was a member of the that authority here. Uh, also Welsh Water sent people to advise uh, because they were concerned that there was sewage might come up. My property didn't have sewage come up, but nearby neighbours did have sewage come up at the back. Um, and we had the local councillors, the town councillors came down, county councillors were there as well. Everybody was there to help. There were 25 of us who were flooded and only five people had got insurance. And as mine eventually cost £29,000 to be insured, uh, it would have been impossible to have found that money myself. I think a lot of people are tenants and they thought someone else was doing their insurance. And I think that was the, I think that was really the main issue. Over a period of about a week, they cleared all the contents out of the ground floor. We then had to have five huge dryers and dehumidifiers in the property with constant noise, like an aeroplane going over the whole of the time. They were here for about five weeks, drying out the property. Then all the woodwork had to be removed, the doors were all taken out, uh, the tiles had to be lifted, the carpets were condemned, um, and it was really like living with a builder's yard underneath you. And that went on for up to about 25 weeks to actually get the house back to the state that it is now. And two weeks ago, 25 weeks later, we had a party to celebrate. Midsummer's Day, so it was from January to Midsummer's Day that um, the whole thing took place. But now everything's back and the sun's shining today, so it's lovely. <laughs>